Hey guys, these are my Highway Dirt Bikes hand guards, and as you can tell, the glass on this mirror is shattered. It actually started out as a crack and then just got progressively worse. They actually warranty these mirrors against breakage, but before you would even worry about it, I suggest getting rid of all the extra glass in there because I have already sliced my fingers open multiple times, and not even while riding, just while moving the bike. It is absolutely amazing how insanely sharp broken glass can be and how deep it can cut with so little pressure. To start, go ahead and position an old box underneath. Um, I'm just gonna prop it up on this stool, and this will just catch all the glass so it doesn't tear through your trash bag and end up cutting you some more. Be sure to wear your safety glasses and you might want to wear your riding gloves as well, but apparently I like living life on the edge. And I'm just going to take a flathead screwdriver. Let's try to break all this glass off without having it fly across the garage. It's got some kind of gummy type glue on here. All right, then I'll take a brass brush, just try to get the rest of that glue out of there. All right, that looks good enough. Then take the box, seal it up with some tape, and throw it away. So when I snapped this mirror assembly completely off, they actually sent me a whole new one with the mirror inside, and they sent me two new mirrors by themselves and all I had to do is pay for shipping so that's pretty cool they actually replace it if you break it I'm not hundred percent sure they will always do that though I'll go ahead and test fit a mirror glass and it appears that the mirror is a little bit bigger than the assembly it doesn't quite fit in there perfectly so I'll go ahead and take some sandpaper and sand it down along the sides So I did get a bit lazy and put this on the bench sander and it kind of flaked off the edges of the actual reflective part. So it looks a little weird, but it'll work just fine. And now it fits in there nice and snug. It's actually kind of hard to pull out of there once you get it in. Next, I'll just take an alcohol prep pad and clean up contact surfaces. Start with the mirror assembly first and then I'll clean up the mirror last. For the glue, I'll be using this Gorilla Contact Adhesive and it's clear, it bonds pretty much everything, 100% waterproof, permanent, and holds in just seconds. I'll just put a nice little bead along this inner edge. And then I'll put a couple globs. And then I'll just insert the mirror. And just in case, I'll use a couple of these clamps. All right guys, it's been about 24 hours, so I'll go ahead and take these off. It for sure doesn't look perfect around the edges. I really should have taken my time doing it manually instead of throwing it on the bench sander, but it's uh, gonna be completely usable. So I'm pretty happy with it and I'm ready to start riding again. So. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you found this video useful, and I will see you guys next time. Peace out.